Hi, my name is Dave Smith. Uh, many years ago, in 1991, I was made redundant from a regular job in an office, and it gave me the time to sit down and think about what I what actually wanted to do with my life and, and what I was interested in. The thing I was interested in at the time was comedy. I used to go and watch a lot of comedy, but I always had that nagging thing that I could do it, and I had a go. And it turns out I could do it, and I was quite good at it. So they say that the two things that human beings fear most in life are death and public speaking. And in stand-up comedy, you can have both in one night if you get it wrong, as I should know. Um, but most of the time, it really worked. And uh, by putting, sticking my head above the parapet and having a go at something way out of my comfort zone, it started to, uh, you know, it st I started to get noticed by people. So every now and again, someone would come up and offer me work on TV or radio, and it led to other things. So I made that connection that the, the comedy that I was doing and the writing that I was doing, more importantly, was leading to other opportunities as well, which I never shied away from. So the meticulous detail that goes into, uh, into writing a stand-up comedy routine that's bulletproof really stood me in good stead for writing uh, for magazines. I did uh, opinion pieces for women's magazines, travel articles, and I realised that I can write about almost anything. You know, everyone's got an opinion, and uh, the key thing is to inform and entertain. Uh, so one day I might be writing for a radio show, the next day I might be writing for a TV show, next day I might be writing for, a, I wrote for a woman's pregnancy magazine, so I had to write about what it was like to wear an empathy belly. Anyway, I was approached by an English teacher who said, uh, you know, she, she was interested in me coming to talk to her pupils, and I went in and it worked really well. She was, they, they really kind of uh, engaged with the idea of writing to inform and entertain, of writing in an engaging way. Uh, and it snowballed and I didn't resist it. So, you know, cut to eight and a half years later, I've been to over 500 schools talking about how to write. I'm able to make them laugh, which at 8.30 in the morning in front of, say, two or 300 year tens is quite a challenge. But by being able to make them laugh and then show them how to do it, the English teachers love it, the pupils love it. And, and also just expressing yourself, not being afraid to uh, express yourself and being brave with their writing, which they, you know, they, they absolutely love. And then I get them to stand up and read it out in front of the class, which is really important. At some point or another, we've all suffered from death by presentation. It doesn't have to be that way. Humour is a really powerful tool. And if you can inject some humour into your presentations, whether it's an audience of 12 people sitting around a board table or an audience of 200, it means you immediately engage with them and you connect with them, which is absolutely key. In my uh, writing workshops, I can show you how to apply comedic writing to the most mundane of subjects. So you immediately engage with them and it makes you memorable. It makes your company memorable. And more importantly, it gives it that human touch, which we're all after, right?